Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at the 4 to 20 milliamp current loop for industrial control. So this is the irrigation well pump motor controller, and you can see the water pressure gauge on the manifold. There's also a transducer on the manifold, which measures the water pressure and sends out the signal over a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop into a variable frequency drive, which you can see here. Now the variable frequency drive will speed up or slow down the submersible pump motor to keep the water pressure constant. Now the input is 230 volts single phase, the output is 3 phase which feeds the pump motor. Now the output of the well is fed to a water wheel. Now this water wheel is driven off the water pressure, there's a little turbine which uh, turns this chain. Now as the, ch the chain is being driven, it's turning the water wheel which is uh, pulling in the irrigation line. Now the ir irrigation line is pulled in slowly. It takes about 5 hours to pull it in all the way. At the end of this line is the sprinkler head. So the sprinkler head will be pulled in and after about five hours, when it comes to the end, the system will shut down automatically. Okay, next, we're going to have a look at my 0 to 20 milliamp current loop circuit. And it's driven by a SCAMP3 board, which has a PicMica controller. And the I2C bus is driving this, this uh, circuitry here, which is my 0 to 20 milliamp current loop. Now the load will be an LED, which you can see here. So I can control the current through the LED from 0 to 20 milliamps. Okay, here's my little demo circuit where I'm controlling my 0 to 20 milliamp current loop using a microcontroller and the load will be this LED. I have it mapped to my keyboard so if I press the 8 key it will increase the current and I press the 2 key it will decrease the current. So I can increase the current by hitting the 8 key. It's increasing the current through the LED. If I hold it, I take it all the way up to 20 milliamps and with the 2 key I can take it down all the way down to 0. Let's make a little demo how I can control my 0 to 20 milliamp current loop using a microcontroller. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard, my 0 to 20 milliamp current loop. And we start off with a potentiometer, a 10k pot, with 3.3 volts across the pot. So as we vary the pot, we could get 0 to 3.3 volts into pin 3 of this op amp, the CA3140. Now all op amps try to keep the inverting input voltage the same as the non-inverting input voltage if there's a feedback loop and there is a feedback loop from pin 6 to the MOSFET uh, transistor back into pin 2 so whatever voltage we feed into pin 3 will be forced onto pin 2 which will be also across this resistor so if we force 3.3 .3 volts across the resistor we're going to actually force a current through it which will be 20 milliamps and that 20, mill 20 milliamps will be through the transistor and LED because it's a series circuit so whatever voltage we adjust on our pot will be forced across the resistor and we'll get a corresponding current through our current loop which will be feeding our LED. Now this pot is a digital pot, it's a DS3502 which is controlled over the I2C bus. So, so now we have control with a microcontroller, we could control this and control the current through the current loop from 0 to 20 milliamps. Okay, I've written some code on my SCAM3 board which is controlling my digital pot. And I replaced the LED with an ammeter, which you can see here. So now we can monitor the current in the current loop. I've written some fourth control words. So now I can enter a milliamp current value on the keyboard. And that will come up in my current loop. So right now I entered 2 milliamps, and I got 2 milliamps. I could enter 5 milliamps, MA. I'll get 5 milliamps. I could enter 8 milliamps. I'll get 8 milliamps. 10 milliamps. I'll go all the way up to 20 milliamps and there's 20. I have another word called percent that's going to control my 4 to 20 milliamp current loop so if I type 0 percent it's going to give me 4 milliamps so that's my 4 to 20 milliamp current loop if I type in 50 percent I'll get 12 milliamps and if I type in 100 percent I get my full 20 milliamps so it's very easy now to write some code in fourth. You just have to just type in either on the keyboard the current that you want or in code. You just type 10 MA and that will come up in the current loop. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAM3 board to control the 0 to 20 milliamp current loop. It's only a few lines of code, but it's very powerful. So the first word we see is write to pot. So this controls the digital potentiometer. So we could send the values 0 to 127 to the pot. Now zero will put the wiper down on the bottom, that will be resistor low. And if we send the value 127 to the pot, it will put, put the wiper to resistor high, 
which will which will uh, give us 3.3 volts. So the two words is MA milliamps and percent. That's our control words. So milliamp is for zero to 20 milliamp. So if you just type one, then MA you'll get one milliamp. If you type uh, 10 MA you'll get 10 milliamps, or 20 MA you'll get 20 milliamps. So either from the OK prompt or in your code, all you have to do is just uh, just type in the the value of current that you want and then MA and you'll get that current in the current loop. The second word is percent. So this is the for the 20 milliamp current loop. That's the industry standard. So 0% would be 4 milliamps, and 100% would be 20 milliamps. So either you could use milliamps from 0 to 20, or percent from 4 to 20 in your code. So now you have total control over your current loop. OK, so that was my little tutorial on how to build a 0 to 20 milliamp current loop being controlled by a microcontroller. So now you could come up with your own little sensor and have the output 0 to 20 milliamps. You could feed that into a variable frequency drive or a PLC. Now this DS3502 digital pot, I have other videos if you want to get into more details. Uh, you could check out those other videos. So if you're in industry, if you're working in industry or if you have a, working on a farm, you're going to run into uh, these industry protocols like the 0 to 20 milliamp current loop. So we just finished picking our blueberries. The crop is gone, so now we're just waiting for the corn to grow.